Hi guys, good morning and how are you? <laughs> Hope you guys are awesome today. If you guys are here for the first time and you guys are new to my channel, I have to say welcome. My name is Frances Michelle and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a shop with me vlog and a small haul. Um, and it's going to be my first time at Aldi's. I've never been to Aldi's. Like, I've been to Aldi's with my mom, but I've never grocery shopped at Aldi's. So, I've seen this is a thing here on YouTube. And not only is it a thing, but it's like a very inexpensive, great store for grocery shopping. So, we're going to give it a try today and see if it's a grocery store that's going to work for my family. If you're here for the first time, we're a family of five. I have three boys, myself and my husband. So we're gonna see if it works out. We normally shop at Walmart and finish at Publix and sometimes Publix breaks our bank account. Sometimes we go for like a Publix run and we end up paying 40, 60, 80 dollars like two or three times a week. So we're going to try to find uh, cheaper alternatives. So I'm taking you guys along with me on our first all these uh, shop with us shop with me so um yeah guys so if you want to consider subscribing make sure you hit subscribe make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and uh, follow me on social media guys so let's go ahead and get started y'all so quick question hey yeah. how do you feel about going to all these i don't know it's uh... <laughs> Is that a mix of emotions? A <laughs> mix of emotions? Yeah. Why? A mix of emotions because I feel like I'm cheating on Walmart. Ah! I'm uh, public. I don't mind cheating on Walmart. I feel like Walmart is overrated. I don't know. Let's see. You know. So here it is, guys. It's our first time at Aldi's. So, I heard that this was like really important. Like, how a quarter saves you dollars. So, in order for you to get your car, we have to do this thing here and we have to put a quarter in here. And then we get the car. So, we are now ready to start shopping and all these. Alright, so as soon as you come in, the first thing you see in this Aldi's, I'm pretty sure all Aldi's look the same, is produce. Um, so I'm just here picking up some asparagus, we love asparagus, we love broccoli uh, flowers. So I'm just looking at their selection again, like I said, it's our first time here, so I'm just kind of like sinking in everything and just kind of see what they have. Um, I did notice this was quite empty. I was actually told afterwards that they had just reopened it. They were not close for remodeling, so they're kind of like bringing everything out of the, out of the um, warehouse and it was not like a good thing to shop. So, but still I found a couple of things. So here I just found the spinach that um, I'm going to be using on breakfast and then this one woke up from his early nap which is like where am I? So I'm just looking at the fruits. We're not so high, we're not so many people on fruits and we should start being more into fruits to be honest. So, oh, there you go. He got you a smile. So adorable. That's my 10 month old. So here I'm just looking for the avocados. Um, I heard the avocados were great. I heard the avocados were amazing. Um, they're still a little bit green. They're not ripe yet. So I grabbed a few. Um, we're just browsing, looking around. My husband picked out one of um, his favorite snacks, which are the fruit and grain. So we're just pretty much kind of just going aisle by aisle to kind of see what um, there is. And then you get another glance of my baby. So here I found some potatoes, some garlic cloves, and this is what I have in my cart so far. So we're just going to go ahead and continue. 
And moving on to the bread selection, they actually have pretty good, good bread selection. They have some croissants, they have some English muffins. We are uh, we are fans of English muffins. I did not pick any this time because I had some left over from the previous grocery shopping. Um, I did pick up bread. Um, they have white bread, which is like, of course, my favorite. And I also found that they had 100% whole wheat. And that's how I put that one back and then grabbed the 100% whole wheat for my husband. So this is what pretty much we do. We just, grew, you know, we just went aisle by aisle checking what they had. I found some chips for nacho night. I found that the cookies here are like pretty much like the ones that I buy at Walmart, just not name brand. Um, as you can see, all the poultry, all their chicken, all their steak selection um, were a little bit empty. And I was a little sad because I needed to buy a couple of uh, like steaks and stuff like that. Um, we saw that it has some rebuy. My husband is a fanatic for rebuys. Um, I don't know why we didn't give this one a try. We don't really buy it Publix. But we definitely when we go back, we'll give these uh, rebuy steaks a try to see if they're really, really worth it. I mean, they're very expensive, so... fighting with the stupid hand towel paper and I was trying to get into the car and I don't know for some reason didn't realize that the front of the car actually is a little bit wider than the back of the car so um so yeah I just pretty much found a lot of things um not everything I wanted to find just again I feel is because this Aldi's is being restocked that's why there was some amazing quality of like cold cuts they had um good like hams and cheeses and all that and I was pretty impressed you guys so I grabbed a ham for my sandwiches and I was just like yes winning and cheese selection I mean look at that it was great this is cheese selection
um, again, it's just a brief through of what we've picked. I saw these Skippy, um, I've seen them here on videos, and I just thought my husband would like it. They have peanut butter and jelly. I'm not a fan of peanut butter and jelly, neither is my kids, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, right there we were just saying that the girl was kind of like calling our attention because we were recording, and she asked the manager, and the manager was like, it's okay. So I was just like, really? So anyways, we finished, we're wrapping up, and I ended up buying these bags, because again, it's my first time at all these. I didn't have bags to bag these things up. Um, if you have never been to all these, you, they don't have bags, so that's why it's like very inexpensive. They have, uh, barely any people working. It's very, like, minimum staff. So that's why they have like really inexpensive prices. So I just bought these um, bags and that's it. I put them to the car and we returned the car, guys. And we put back the little thing and guess what? It gives you your quarter. So yeah, guys, that was my run. <gasps> we did it. We even got a quarter back. That quarter stays there forever. You're welcome, babe. Thank you. Babe. All right, guys, we did it. Where's the receipt? I don't know. You have it. You pay. Oh, it's inside my purse. All right, guys. So stay tuned. I'm gonna let you guys know how much I spend, and I'm gonna show you everything. And now, when we get home, we're gonna do a haul. So let's fast forward and let's. If we can do that, like just fast forward and we're home. So everything I got at all these guys was under a hundred dollars so i got some i'm gonna soup you guys in so you guys can kind of see more you guys don't really need to see my face so i'm just gonna kind of show you guys everything that i picked up all right so i'm gonna start with produce i got some uh, asparagus we love asparagus so i got some asparagus i got some broccoli um flowers like the, the whole broccoli um we love these i love making these on my oven Roasted broccoli are like, oh, we got my peach. I got a peach for the baby. He loves this. Oh, nice. I got some avocados. They're still not like where they need to be, so I'll just put them to fry. So I got two avocados. We got some of the, I love this mix of potatoes because I love making these with like steaks. They're like really, really good. And I love the purple potatoes, the red potatoes. I just love this mix of potatoes. Oh my god, guys, these things here are for, they're, well, these two actually. They're completely new and they're for my boy, Yoswell. He is allergic. That's the one that I told you guys about. He's dairy free. So I found these gluten free, um, dairy free, cholesterol free, egg free, everything free um, cookies. They're snickerdoodle and I hope he likes them. So, so these are great uh, for him. Love it that it has no eggs. No milk, no nothing. It's egg free, dairy free, gluten free, and everything. So, this is gonna be awesome for him to make him some nice stuff. Then, I got some mince and garlic. I love cooking with mince and garlic, it's like the best thing ever. Saves me time by peeling or doing anything with the garlic. So, I love, love, love mince and garlic. We got some mandarin oranges for snacks for the boys. <clears throat> I found some honey barbecue. We are super super fan, especially my sons, of honey barbecue because of like all the chicken we eat and whatnot. I want to try this gluten free deluxe mac and cheese. Gluten free deluxe mac and cheese. My husband loves the fruit and grain granola bars, so we're gonna see test these ones out and see if he really likes them. Uh, some sharp cheddar. The house, this house has to have some charred cheddar. Um, these potatoes are bomb. I tasted them already once. So these are going to be a nice lifesaver um, for whenever I don't want to cook. So we got some base mashed potatoes. Unfortunately, my middle child, which is the one with allergies, cannot eat these mashed potatoes. But I'll do something else for him that day. I got some spinach to put on like my breakfast, like some eggs or whatnot. These are the grilled like grilled chicken strips I found. We we live on grilled nuggets because they're so easy to do. Um, I can pack up for lunch for school for them, and it could, it's a great snack, and it just takes so 
less like it takes no time to do so i love having grilled chicken around and i love that um they're the strips it's a lot easier to handle the strips so i love that i found those then we get some bread we have some his and hers i got myself some white bread and i got him whole push whole wheat bread i bought some hickory smoked ham this is a uh, one pound of ham my son loves Capri Sun, so I was able to, I was happy that I was able to find him some Capri Sun. So I was like, yes, winning. We got some chips. For, ta for chip Taco Tuesdays, some chips. Half and half. For our coffee, my husband loves almond milk. So we got some almond milk, unsweetened, original almond milk. Of course, some OJ, because we got really sick. I got some apple juice. My son loves apple juice. And... We got some garlic bread. I got some oven roasted chicken. We got some bacon. Some fiesta blend cheese. And then I got some poultry. I have fresh ground turkey. And then I picked up two of the chicken breasts. I want to taste and see how they are. Because I used to buy the Walmart bag. Oh, but I don't like the taste. They taste really fake. So I bought two of these. And then last but not least, last but not least, I got myself some paper towel. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, this is all I got at all these. Um, everything was less than $100, and I couldn't be any more happy. I am excited. I cannot wait to start meal prepping this week and giving all this a try. Um, again, they're not well-known brands. On most of the things so i wouldn't know how they taste or if there is any difference so i'm excited to try out i will let you guys know i'll keep you updated and i will let you guys know what meals i prepare so for that you have to continue to follow me on instagram because that's where i will keep you guys updated um i'm gonna put my instagram down below and yeah so if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys i will do more of these content for you guys here on my channel and if you are in aldi's fan and you shop at Aldi's and you love it let me know by giving it a thumbs up so anyways guys thank you so much for watching thank you guys for coming along thank you so much for clicking on the video which is business I'll see you ladies on my following video bye